this problem we want to find point, points, if any, at which the graph of f has a horizontal tangent line. Okay, so we've got uh, f of x is equal to x squared over x minus 3. Now our first step in finding the points, uh, find the points at which the graph has a horizontal tangent line, first step is to find the derivative. Well, this is a quotient rule. Got something to divide by something else. So top part is p, bottom part is q. We need p prime. Derivative of x squared is 2x. Q prime, the derivative of x minus 3 is 1. And our formula says p prime q minus p q prime over q squared. So for our derivative, uh, p prime was 2x times q, which is x minus 3, minus p, which is x squared, times q prime, which is 1. All over q squared, which is x minus 3 squared. Um, now I could, if I wanted to, factor out uh, an x, because they both have it in common. This is so so easy, though, that I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of parentheses, combine got like terms. Um, 2x times x is 2x squared. 2x times negative 3 is negative 6x minus x squared times 1 is just x squared over x minus 3 squared. 2x squared minus x squared is x squared minus 6x over x minus 3 squared. Now I'm going to factor an x out and that gives us x minus 6 over x minus 3 squared. Step 2. Uh, set your derivative equal to 0 and solve it. So we got x times x minus 6 over x minus 3 squared equal to 0. Now this is a rational equation. To solve rational equation you um, get rid of parentheses first, uh, well, we got those here for a reason, we'll see in a second. But um, then our second step is to get rid of fractions. Multiply everything by the LCM of all your denominators. Only have one denominator, the x minus 3 squared, so we'll multiply both sides by x minus 3 squared. There we go. Now over on this side, the x minus 3 squared cancels that x minus 3 squared. And then we got x times x minus 6. And over on the right side, 0 times anything is 0. Now the way it will always work out is if you have a single fraction equal to 0, then you're solving it. All you do is you set your top part equal to 0. Because um, it will always, always work that way. Now that doesn't include uh, critical points, critical values that we'll talk about later. But when you're just solving a normal rational equation, that's always true. Okay, now we got 0 on one side, we got this side factored, uh, 0 factor property. We'll set each factor equal to 0. So I'll set x equal to 0, and I'll set x minus 6 equal to 0. Now this is already solved, but this one will take negative 6 over and becomes a positive 6. Step 3. We're going to take the x values we just found, we're going to plug them back into our original function and find out what our y is. Remember, f of x is the same as y. So we got y equals, I'll put 0 in for x, so I got 0 squared over 0 minus 3. And on this one, I'll have 6 squared over 6 minus 3. <coughs> well, 0 divided by anything is 0. And um, I need to get a new tablet. My little tablet has so many bad places in it. That <laughs> it looks like my writing's worse than it is. <laughs> so this point would be 0, 0, put my x and y together. This one, 6 squared is 36, 6 minus 3 is 3, and i um, got to fly in my room. Uh, 36 above a 3 is 12, which would gives us 6 and 12, assuming the fly didn't uh, screw up my basic math. Uh, how do you like that? Blame a fly for it. So these would be our two answers. <coughs>